Hello, my soccer universe. Well, um, I did not quite know what to wear, and I decided let's wear Newcastle. I don't wear it too often, and they won. And I saw a little bit, but no goals from that game. But yeah, I saw that they won 3 1. Uh, today was a day where many teams would have had a chance to throw things out of whack, and in the end, nothing really happened in a very weird way. Um, I only saw actually one game fully and I saw a second one where I just was a little bit, you know, I was not paying that much attention uh, actively, but I saw and I got the feel for, 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 for the game overall. The game that I watched fully was of course Parma Milan, um, where, yeah, first half advantage Parma for sure uh, and it is Milan if you look at the run-in they would have the perfect run-in to really um, make a lot of points but that is if Serie A wasn't one of those leagues where the bottom teams suddenly get really great results towards the end of the season which and you know most teams have to fight for something so uh, this makes this easy run in kind of hardware um, I think Roma had to play Inter they have to still play at Juve Atalanta I think has something similar going on uh, they have to play Napoli Juve I think uh, you know it is not an easy run in as compared to Milan but Parma Milan showed that Milan is not all that playing well and that those lower teams give them trouble. I mean, there were many corners for Parma, there were chances, Donnarumma was back in goal, but didn't look all that confident, to be honest. So it was not uh, a game where I was easy. Milan never could assert themselves. I think I always had the feeling that Parma is um, about to score more likely than Milan. That changed in the second half. Um, Bilia came in, Cutrone came in, Castillejo came in, and as soon as Cutrone came, came in, you could see there's a little bit more work going on. And Castillejo surely helped uh, things as well with uh, being, you know, a bit of a life wire. Uh, he might not be the greatest player overall, but he uh, has a vitality to him that Milan is missing. He is a fast player. And I think the one thing that I always um, think with Milan, they are lacking pace. And yeah, Suso cross hits the head of, uh, of Castillejo, ball goes in, 1-0, and uh, at that point, well-deserved. Milan had chances, Milan was uh, working now towards getting this victory. Um, a little bit later, um, I think it was, yeah, Piontek got the ball uh, that he plays across to Cutrone, who makes it seemingly 2-0, but it was already waved offside, and when they saw the replay, when I saw the first replay, I thought oh, that that's not uh, not that close. Yeah, it probably was offside. But then they actually looked at it, and it was just by the tip of a toe. And again, I hate this. We don't need to go millimeter by millimeter. I I think that needs to be a clear rule. It should not be the closest point. Take the torso. I'm begging you, take the torso and make sure that or even uh, better. I think it would be even more, 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 more exciting. Daylight between attacker and defender. So the attacker can have a little bit leg room. This would not be, let's say this is the attacker. This, if they're overlapping like this, that's fine. Here, still fine. Now we have offside. That's how I would interpret it. Give a little bit more to the attacker. Uh, make it a little bit hard, 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 hard to find, but not if just the tip of the toe is ahead and it's offside. Mm. So yeah, um, I thought the goal should have been way, 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 way tough. And when I, when I saw the line, I was uh, more irritated about the whole thing. But it seemed that Milan is going to play at home until there was a very stupid foul and Bruno Alves makes a wonderful free kick and sets it home. Uh, the ball was even jumping, so this was a really well taken free kick, and yeah, 1-1. One, one. And while I was hoping a miracle is happening, nothing really was happening any, any, anymore. Uh, Milan actually tried, but almost uh, got called, called on the counter, so yeah, ended 1-1. One, one. 
which means you cannot separate yourself from the pack and you even run the risk that the Roma overtakes you. Fortunately, the uh, games for uh, Milan went in a way their way. I mean, we have uh, Napoli playing Atalanta where you would expect Atalanta not making many points. Lazio loses at home to Kievo 2-1, uh, gets two red cards. Um, that is an absolute stunner, this result. Uh, yeah, and then the evening game between Inter and Roma, just before we go to that one, uh, Juve won 2-1 against Fiorentina, had to turn the game around and won on an own goal, but they are now officially Italian champions, so maybe the black and white is not that unfitting today. But Inter-Roma was a super entertaining game. Uh, if I would have watched it uh, more closely, I was actually searching for possible jersey deals again, and I think I found one, but I'm not sure uh, what I, I will do. I have two jerseys coming, a third jersey. Uh, I have secured for myself a long time, but I just need to meet the seller, and we agreed we'd do it somewhere in Linz, because he's not that far off but it's kind of the next town it would be a 20 minute drive so we're gonna hopefully and he's coming my direct we're hopefully gonna meet soonish because it's a pretty gorgeous jer uh, jersey but let's see i'll let you know about those so there are three uh, coming to my collection two national teams one club team from italy and i'm looking at another one from italy so let's see what we'll get it was an exciting game. I didn't like the jerseys. I think Roma can play it in, the, in their red jerseys. They can even play in their yellow jerseys. Uh, why do they have these gray jerseys? I really do not like for Roma. Um, they're boring. The best thing about them is the taping on the, on the back with the Wolves logo. But other than that, nope. Didn't like them. Um, Jacob was brilliant in the first half. Um, it was right off the bat the uh, chance for Roma. Then a uh, huge chance for Inter where the goalkeeper, which was the replacement goal goalkeeper, just saved it towards the post. Uh, so that was uh, exciting to see. And it went back and forth. There was a run by El Sharavi, and I was just about to get up and go to go, go to the to, to bathroom and say, oh yeah, this is El Sharavi. Ah, how, how much I would like to have him? Turn around, and he puts the ball in the net that I don't see it. I was really mad at myself. Uh, but the replay showed a really nicely taken shot. And so it was game on, and Inter actually went forward uh, and tried to get the equalizer. But after a few 10 or 15 minutes, Roma could uh, claw the game back. And yeah, it was a relatively even but very open in the first half. In the second half, Inter went for the kill in, in a way. I mean, Icardi came in. And they got their equalizer through Perisic. Dabrosio cross in, Perisic had it in. And probably should have had the winner. Only, only late in the game, I thought there were two or three chances for Roma. Uh, named by Kolarov. If he doesn't take a shot off, I think he might get a penalty. Even. But yeah, it ends 1-1. Which, honestly, I hate that Milan lost today. Uh, not lost, but it feels like a loss. They get the 1-1 at, at Parma. Because I usually I would cheer for Roma big time against Inter. But because of the situation in the table... I almost had to cheer for Inter, and I actually was happy about the equalizer. It breaks my heart uh, a little bit that uh, it goes that way. Uh, I tried to convince myself if Roma wins, maybe Inter falls out of the top four, but I know exactly what's going to happen. That on the last day, in the last minute, then it would be that uh, Milan would be eliminated. So I don't want to have that happening too. Better be safe. And I said, well, maybe that draw is not the worst because uh, Inter remains in striking distance and Roma cannot overtake Milan. And even if, if Atalanta would pull on them at the, out the win, they would still be ahead of, um, still be behind Milan, even if they level on points. So, um, as I said, some stuff happens, things could have gone out of the way, either with Milan. I mean, if Milan gets the win, they put some distance between them and Roma. Looks great. Uh, if Roma wins, then they can be ahead of Milan, putting a lot of pressure there. Um, so a lot of things can happen in the end. Nothing happened. And so it goes. Same thing can be said for England. I mean, I saw a little bit, but we were about to leave for my parents. To, um, see my siblings and so on 
So I didn't really see much of City against uh, Spurs in the rematch, uh, which they played in the same jerseys, which I still don't get why cannot uh, Spurs play in the navy kits against them. Maybe because they have the light blue up there. That's probably it. Yeah, it's not the best jersey at Baker. And it started right, right, right off. Um, in three minutes or four minutes, uh, it was already 1-0 um, for uh, City. And I have to uh, fold the play. I mean, uh, a nice cross in. Aguero had it to fold and fold into the net. And all the defenders for Tottenham didn't do anything. So you thought, oh, we have another goal fest coming. But this time, Son and Eriksen missed their chances. Um, City should have gotten a penalty in the first half. Spurs should have gotten a penalty in the second half. It was a clear handball with the plain view of the referee. Spurs didn't take the chances. In the end, it probably could have been gone 2-0 for City. But I think Spurs had a draw in there. And honestly, this was probably the biggest chance uh, in the season that City is going to get stopped and not win the title. Uh, they have the Manchester Derby coming up. I don't quite see it happening there. And I do have a slight feeling that it might happen that one of the teams fighting for championship on the last day, I think in the last day or second to last day, there uh, someone will crack. I don't see it happening before that, but it will be in the last two days. One of those two teams is going to crack. I cannot tell you which one though. So yeah, and I saw Newcastle winning. I will talk about the other games in highlights. Um, I saw a little bit uh, German league and I saw that Bayern and I just watched the highlights. Uh, Bayern got a somewhat lucky win. Bremen defended well. It was not a great game. Bremen didn't have all that many chances, so uh, Bayern definitely had a surplus. But they defended well. And once it got a red card for Bremen, then it, the writing was on. The ball was deflected, shot by Süle that went into the net. So again, there was a possibility of the draw. It didn't happen, so nothing happened. Uh, in a way, in England, you know, with the win for City in the title race, nothing really happened as expected. Yes, something happened. It was probably the biggest chance. And maybe uh, our Arsenal can now overtake uh, Spurs, but in a title race, nothing really happened. And uh, Ajax won, so nothing really happened there so far either. And I saw the Barcelona and Atletico Madrid won. Uh, Barcelona 2-1, Atletico Madrid 1-0, also a very late, late goal. Let's quickly see who did the uh, Barcelona goals. Hmm. Am I crazy? Here we are. Langley, Alba, uh, two minutes. Alba was two, two minutes after Juan Mir equalized for Real Sociedad. So yeah, Real Sociedad used to be this nasty opponent for, um, for Barca. Yeah, they now beat them. I saw a chance by Messi, uh, and you know, Real Sociedad was probably a little bit in the game, but not too much. Uh, Barcelona getting the win. Atletico Madrid getting win, as I said, nothing happened. But here, the chances of something happening were not great either. Well, that's my summary for today. It was for me more or less an Italian day, and I think that the Inter Roma game was enjoyable and was probably a really good game probably the best game today i want to even say of the decent games that you're gonna watch today so um was a little bit i was happy with the result in the end i'm still mourning milan i was happy that newcastle won because with the neighbors with that jersey and what shall i say about juventus well I know they were celebrating after that they won the championship, but I think the season is a disappointment. Just gotta see. Well, let me know which games you watched. Uh, or you can tell me about those games, uh, if for the games that I watched and you've seen them as well, you agree with my assessment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.